thing you want when you're trying to buy your new home today is to run into a snag. Real estate expert TJ Larson is here with a to-do checklist before you head to your closing. TJ, great to see you. Good to see you. I could have used this information about three years ago because you, you... didn't call me. So I too know. Bad. I, I know it's my fault, <laughs> right? Okay. Your first tip is have a home inspection performed as soon as possible. Yes, absolutely. This is not something you want to wait on. Uh, this is where most of the problems could be unearthed on a house. So you want to get them in there. I mean, I suggest having these lined up as you're nearing contract execution and not after you have contract execution. What you might find is you'll uncover the need for additional repairs. Those you may not be able to line up, you know, in a couple of days' time. So the sooner you find out whether the home is in good order, the better off you can be to spend a little bit more money, start to get your financing in order, those types of things. Okay, that makes sense. This I love. Ask for a list of contractors who performed work on the home. Ask for paint colors. Write that one down. That's good. Ask for paint colors, service providers, alarm codes, things like that. Why is that so important? Everything that you can find you want to have included in a binder. Go ahead and get a, uh, get a little notebook because you're going to order movers. You're going to be writing a huge check at closing. You've got a lot of things on your mind. Very difficult to remember some things that you're going to need to know just a month after you get into that home or certainly years after you've been in there. Mm -hmm. Make sure that you get uh, warranty manuals for the appliances. Make sure that you get uh, user manuals for those. But all this kind of stuff that you think you might need later on down the road. That's good. I think that's a good thing to remember because we've tried to touch up paint yeah. and we don't have the paint. Can't match it. Yeah. I, it drives me crazy. So that would have been a very helpful thing. Also, turn over utilities. Absolutely. What you want to do is try to do this without any service interruption whatsoever. Typically, what's going to happen is the seller is going to leave these utilities on through the day of closing. Uh, and so you've usually got a little bit of time there, but so often I'll find some clients that are waiting a week or so to move into the property. They'll wait on utilities. Now you've got to wait on Duke Power to flip the breakers. You've got to pay an $85 reconnect fee to Piedmont Natural Gas in order to get the gas back on. So just have them changed over in name only. You'll never have to wait for a service provider. Very good. Okay, make sure your insurance is in place before closing. Before closing, and if you have buyer possession before closing, Closing. If you're moving in before closing, make sure that your insurance is in place at then, the earlier of those two dates. But you definitely do not want to close on a home or move in prior to having that insurance in place. Yes, that makes sense. And also, of course, perform a final walkthrough. Absolutely. Now, this is the tricky one as far as time is concerned. What we typically find on that is somebody is moving into a home. They've got a lot of different things going on. They're calling the movers. And uh, as they're trying to work through their schedule, they are thinking they might go to the, clo go to the do the final walkthrough right before the close. Closing. And typically, that's a little bit too late. If you have some problems, you want to unearth those before you're at the closing table. So I suggest a couple of days in advance, you do that final walkthrough. And then right before closing, just go back through one more time to make sure that there wasn't a flood in the house or something happened that, uh, that would stop the closing process. Very good, TJ Larson. Would you like to wrap before we wrap up your segment? I would, I would, but <laughs> off camera. Okay. I just thought I'd give you the opportunity. Oh, well, thank you. Because I know how so you are. So thoughtful. <laughs> He's not only a real estate expert. He's also quite the skilled rapper, too. Uh, you can check out his website, mytownhome.com, mytownhome.com. I swear to you, if I had to buy or sell a house, you're the guy I'd go to. Well, thank you. Yes, TJ Larson, thank you so much.